Listen to me, you cheap whore. Listen, I have seen all your likes and comments all over his IG posts. I'm calling to warn you because you just might not know what is coming your way. Listen, you don't have to know who this is, but I'm sure you know who I am talking about. So stay away from Justin! Samantha, stop! What? Why do you keep doing this? What is wrong with you? Have you seen the comments? Have you seen all that girl's comments all over Justin's IG posts? She went as far as leaving him kissing emojis, red emojis, purple, red hats, purple hats, blue hats, orange hats, Samantha! With what? <sighs> that man is mine and no one is taking him away from me. That man is your ex-husband. Samantha, you are divorced. You see that you keep forgetting that. Stop stalking him. Stop stalking your ex-husband. You keep making a fool of yourself. You keep embarrassing yourself. Stop harassing random women all the time. What is wrong with you? Is that all you have to say to me, Carol? What do you want me to say? No, what do you want me to say? Because this is getting out of hand. This is getting crazy. The last time you went to his office and you beat up his colleague, then you got yourself arrested. What are you going to gain from all this? Getting back my man and I will do all it takes. I need my privacy. Jeez. Okay, go ahead, as usual. Unyara. What do you want? Will you say something and stop staring at me like the Statue of Liberty? It's been only five months, Justin, since our divorce. And you're already out there around town, frolicking with different cheap, dirty whores. Really? I am not done talking to you, Justin. I'm not done talking to you. Samantha, I don't know what you're talking about. And I don't care. And for the records, I owe you no explanation. Do you hear me? You better leave now or I'll call the security. Hello? George, I need to see you, please. Your friend is hurting me. He is driving me crazy. He is really pushing me and I just might do the unexpected. I think I'm lost here. Which of my friends are you talking about? Which of your friends do you think I know? Are you referring to Justin? Justin! Whoa. Slow, slow down. Justin wants to see my wrath. But I bet he's not ready for it. What has Justin done this time? I mean, both of you are not even in the same space anymore. So what's all this... Oh, about? so we're not in the same space anymore. So is that why he is frolicking around town with different women? I, I, I don't know. 
I, I, I don't know. And I guess he's a free man now, so he's free to do whatever he I wants. I want him back. I want him back. Okay. So what did she say? <laughs> he said she wants you back. And what did you say? What could I have said? What should I have said or what possibly do you think I could have said? What do you mean by okay? Like, okay. Or... Okay, okay, what is okay? What am I supposed to do with okay? Is that what you are going to say to me? Okay, what am I going to do with that? What was she thinking? That she was going to talk to you? To talk to me on her behalf and I would take her back and do what? Throw another wedding party? Is that it? Bro, oh, I swear, I have never been this shocked and surprised at the same time in my life. Like I was just sitting there point blank when she was saying all these things. Samantha is mental. Look, I thought I was, I thought I could do without Justin, okay? I thought I was going to move on after the divorce and all of that, but I thought wrong. Look, I just, look, I, I can't just stand him being with someone else. I can't stand it, like, I don't know what to do with myself, Samantha. okay? My life just keeps getting messier every day. Samantha. I don't know what to do. Just calm down, all right? I'm in one moment, I'm thinking and celebrating that I'm free. And the next moment she begins to stalk me again. Damn. Do you guys want to get back together? George, is that even a question? I don't know. I mean, I gave her my own piece of advice, but guess what I got? What you need to be more focused on now is healing and moving on with your life. Because at this point, there's not- Are you mad? I don't blame you. What was that for? I blame myself for sitting down here with you. Really? And you're sat down with a reasonable person. I was shocked. Bro, I was shocked. Why? Why are you shocked? When you picked up your car keys, ignited your car and took a drive to the lounge. Didn't you have an idea who you were going to meet? You see, the fact that she doesn't want to let you go, yeah, and I probably did that too. Sure you know. The good thing is, Samantha is a thing of the past. Let us talk about things that are important. How's business? A thing of the past. <laughs> okay. George, <laughs> how is business? Yeah, I don't even want to talk about that. I messed up big time yesterday, so I'm, I'm like, let's just leave business for now. All right, <laughs> take it easy. It has its ups and downs. Justin? Justin? I 
beautiful sound, the petals and all of this. Of course, I love it. I've been waiting to do this. I do it already. Oh my God. Samantha Justin. The one who has captured my heart. The one who has showed me what it is to love and be loved. I can't, I can't imagine myself spending the rest of my life with anyone else but you. And I know, I know we, we have our challenges. We do. My people, my friends, I think you're not good enough for me. But what do they know? What do they know? They don't know what is good for me like I do. Yes, you make me happy. And I will be the happiest man on earth if you just accept to be my wife. Crown it all, I say. Will you marry me? Yes, Justin, I'll, I'll marry you. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey. I love you. I love you too. I love you. Are you sure about this? Do you have short-term memory? Because the first time I broke the news to you, this was the same exact question you asked me. Because I just want to be sure that you are sure. And why would you think I'm not sure? Why? Marriage is a big deal, Justin. I know. You think I don't know about that? Please. And you do know that who you get married to can either make you or break you. Look, I know you love Samantha, but... Hey, there are no bots, okay? I love Samantha. And I want to spend the rest of my life with her. It's period. not about love, you know. It's definitely not about love. Have you been married before? You, you've been single? You've been single. You will be single. <laughs> Guy, you are a single Pringle on a single departmental store on this lonely street. So don't tell me about marriage, hmm? You can insult me all you want to, but you see this particular thing. Mm. I don't need experience to know. Is everything okay? George is trying to talk Justin out of this. Out of what? The whole thing, the engagement and the marriage. What? Why? I don't know. Like, I don't know why this guy hates me so much. I really don't know. Goodness gracious me. 
Leave it to me. What are you going to do? Relax. That conversation will stop immediately. See, guy, insult me or you. I will am not. not giving you insult. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. I don't know how he dribbled past all those defenders like, and put the ball inside the net. Exactly that was absolutely my thought. amazing. Um, <laughs> I can Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, and we're actually hi. Mm, hi. just talking about football. football. Yeah. Oh, yeah, football. I love football. Yeah. I'm so sorry to interrupt the guys, just. It's okay. Oh. Can I have George for a second? Of course. Uh, what, what, I mean, <laughs> me? take him all you want. <laughs> Okay, what, what's up? Georgina. Uh, Are you gay? What? What? Carol, what kind of question is that? Why, why, why would you even think of something like that? I am curious because I don't know if you are secretly in love with Justin. You are all over him. Where is this coming from? It's coming from the fact that you won't let Justin and Samantha be. The guy wants Samantha. Just leave him alone. And I'm just looking out for a brother, my friend. <laughs> so is that bad? You're looking out for a brother? Yes. You don't even have a girlfriend. You should be looking out for yourself. I'll reserve my words. You better do. and third party. And by talk and by third party you're talking about George. I'm glad you know that George is doing too much. Why does he think he has an opinion about us? Why does he think that his opinion is needed in our relationship? Like why does he think that he should always Samantha, have something relax. to say? No, I can't relax because I'm beginning to wonder what he has to say is going to mess with your head or something. Mess with my head? What are you talking about? Samantha, you have my ring on your finger. And you're still worried about my head being messed with? Come on. Look, Justin, I'm just scared. Okay, because I don't want to lose you. And you are not going to lose me. Okay? No one can change how I feel about you. And no one can influence me either. You are going to be my wife. And I, I am going to be your husband. We will spend the rest of our lives together. We will grow old together. As a matter of fact, we will get wrinkled together. Okay? Do you believe me? Come to that. <laughs> so can I get my cuddles now? <laughs> mm -hmm.
liar. Bloody liar. Men are scum. Scum. Be calling me by the time of the night. What is it? It's not Samantha's number. Hello? I don't know who is was Justin. You? Or the devil? Hello? You promised me. You promised me forever. You promised that nothing is going to come between us. You said that you are mine forever. I believed you and you deceived me, Justin. Wait, is this why you're calling me by this time of the night? Someone did you interrupted my sleep for this? Oh, you were sleeping. I thought they said there is no sleep for the wicked. Maybe in this case, you are the wicked. That's why you cannot sleep. Justin, you are mine. And I mean it. You're just being delusional. We are divorced. Accept it. Let me go. I don't care. I don't care. And Justin, if I can't have you, nobody will. You hear me? Nobody will! This, this girl needs help. Either spiritual help or psychiatric help. Let me turn off my phone. What's this? He dropped the call. Justin drops the call on me. Justin, this is only the beginning. I heard you screaming last night, but I didn't bother to check because I might have an object thrown at me. The object might hit my head and I might end up dying. I think you need help. We have to do something now. Hmm? We can't just keep quiet until it gets worse. We have to find you the help that you need. Help, help, help. What help are you talking about? Like seeing a therapist. I don't need a therapist, Carol. I need Justin. You need Justin. You breed Justin. You live for Justin. You poop with Justin. You eat Justin. You smell Justin. Justin, Justin, Justin. Newsflash. Justin doesn't want you. Justin has moved on. And you have to move on. The earlier you move on, the better for you. Uh-uh. You know what, Helen? I've always known what your problem is. Jealousy. You've always been jealous of me. You were the happiest when I got divorced. You were jealous I was married and you weren't. <laughs> what is funny? <laughs> <laughs> you think it's a joke? Are you out of your mind? Yes! I am out of 
my mind. I have lost my mind. Jesus. Come in. Who's there? Someone just knocked the door now. That was the beginning I got her for the trip we never embarked on. I recognize it, yeah. What? That was the receipt of the birthday gift she got me last year. Very wonderful, amazing gift like that. Me too. Guy, I think she has finally returned the ring. Let me take a look. It's a duplicate. She will never let go of that ring. Are you sure? Yes, I'm super sure. I'm receiving a note here. Read it out. We, we had a good thing going. I want us back. <laughs> My guy. Sure you know say so don't enter this one. George, how do I get out of this? How? How do I put an end to this madness? I mean, how do I make her let go of me? How do I make her understand that all of this is over? There's no us and there will never be an us again. I don't know. I don't know. Because this is trouble. So what do we do to this? I don't know. Up to me, I will burn it. Mom. I'm so surprised to see you here. Is she in? Yes, she is. Sit down while I get her for you. Thank you. Samantha. Please, look, I would like to be left alone. Justin is here. Is this a joke? He's in the living room. You being serious? He said he's here to see you, but I don't know if... Uh... Justin, you came for me. I came to give you back your parcel. 
and I came to have a conversation. Okay. We're both adults. Yes. And we've made a decision. Regardless of how hard it is, we have to accept it. Live with it. Okay? Our divorce was not an instant thing. It was a decision we made. Together. The both of us. Right? So, you have to come to the realization that thing, everything between us has ended and it will never go back to what it used to be. I'm moving on and you have to move on to. Move on to something else, move on to someone else, to, to a better place, right? And, and look, I would appreciate if, if you don't contact me again, you don't contact my family, you don't contact my friends, and don't even stalk me on social media. It doesn't make any sense. Please, respectfully. Now, Samantha, is that too much to ask? I guess I'll take my leave. It's too much to ask, Justin. It is too much to ask. Please, I cannot leave without you, Justin. Samantha, please. Samantha, let go of my shirt. Please. I cannot leave with you. Then we die. Wait, what? I will kill you and I'll kill myself. Samantha. Samantha, let me. Samantha, Samantha, Justin. just let go of my shirt. Please. Come get your friend. She, she needs help. Hey, Bella. Hey, friend. Guess what? You've known me for eight years and you still don't know that guessing is not my favorite thing to do? Okay, let me help you. Guess who is returning to Nigeria? You're still asking me to guess. Dummy, it's me. That should be simple. Well, um, I was thinking it was... Um... <laughs> wasn't the reaction I expected. No, no, no. Actually, I'm excited for you to come back. Welcome. Anyway, my flight is next week and I want you to help me arrange a hotel I'll stay in. Well, there will be no need for that. I have more than enough rooms in this house. <laughs> you want your wife to break my head? You see, maybe, and maybe if you were just being a very good friend and you were checking up on me often, you would have known by now that we are divorced. Yes. When? Why? How? Wait, wait. What happened? Well, I guess when you return, you'll find out. Samantha, what is the meaning of this? Are you trying to cause an accident? Hi, Justin. Look, I've been very lenient with you. But God knows right now, I'm beginning to lose my cool. Relax, okay? I only came out here to apologize to you about the last time. I got you a gift. The only thing I need from you is for you to avoid me. Stay clear of my part. Look, I get it. 
I get that I've been doing a lot of things lately that is pushing you away from me. But that's why I'm here, peacefully, so that I can start doing things right. My love. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. You don't owe me an apology. Could you at least just accept my gift? Thank you. God, the traffic wasn't bad, so bad. Oh my God. Days. I'm lucky. Yes, you are. <clears throat> Welcome to Nigeria, Bella. Thank you. Nice place you have here. Thank you. Uh -uh. Can I a big man though? When was <laughs> I never a big man? Hey, 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 come here, come here. Come on, carry your bags. Are you serious? I'm not your house boy. I just got in. Uh -huh. What's my business? Come, come, come. Oh, yeah. Take this one. Take, take, take. Give Wait me. for the big one. Troublemaker. Yeah, it's still the same. Ooh, come on in. Welcome to my house. Whoa. This is nice. Thank you. Man, I can't say if it's good. Come back to this country, where it definitely feels good to see you. Feels good to see me. But you're the one who stayed away from the country for four years. Come on, don't sound like that. I mean, the girl saw an opportunity and she had to take it. I hear. Can I show you to your room now? Wait, wait. I'm just curious. What happened between you and your wife? I mean, I saw some of your posts back then and... You guys seemed really happy together. So, what happened? How many hours of flight did you have again? Exactly. I suppose you'd be tired and you need to rest. You don't want to talk about it? Obviously, I don't want to talk about it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, I guess we're not close friends anymore. I mean, you're hiding things from me. Okay. Do you want me to tell you all about it? Yes. You just had a fill shot at blackmailing me. Come on, move. Show you to your room. You're crazy. Up, up, up. You are crazy. Up. You still tell me. This one is just, it's just I'm just coming back. You still tell me. Let us go. I mean, why wouldn't you? She's an experience for you. I want to know about it. No, 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 no. 
It was the first the first one I told you, but this one is Cara, I need a gun. Different. And I need a gun. Please, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. <laughs> what did you just say? You heard me right. I need a gun, like right now. <sighs> you are joking, right? Does it look like I'm joking? Carol, does it look like I'm freaking joking? Okay. You are not joking. What do you need a gun for? To kill Justin and the girl in his house. What are you talking about? I was hanging around Justin's house all day and I saw him driving to the compound with this girl in his car. You were hanging around Justin's. Did you hear yourself? Did you hear yourself, Samantha? Why will you be hanging around Justin's house all day? Samantha, come. Oh my. You're beginning to act like a psycho. I'm telling you, you have coins coin. A psycho? Yes, a psycho. I said what I said. And it's becoming really, really scary. Eh? You can imagine living under the same roof with somebody like you. You just walked in here and all of a sudden you need a gun. You want a gun to shoot who? You know what? You're right. I shouldn't have mentioned the gun. Exactly. You shouldn't have. I shall just, I shall just kept it all to myself and carry out my plan without telling anyone. God. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do. This girl don't follow. Samantha! Samantha! I see Good someone morning. made breakfast. Good morning. I mean, it's the least I can do after you gave me your house. Huh? Someone gave you his house. I didn't give you my house, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you know what I mean. Oh, this looks nice. Just like me. I was telling you this thing now because you know me a bit. Oh, <laughs> How did you get... Wait, are you... Samantha? Justin's wife? Yes. And you are? <clears throat> I'm... I'm Ambella, Justin's friend. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about the divorce thing he told me. Oh, he told you about that too. What do you mean? Well, that... Is what he tells cheap girls like you just so he can get into your pants. He's lying. Okay, first things first. I am not a cheap girl. Justin and I have been friends for a very long while. He has no reason to lie to me. And secondly, if it's a lie, then why are you not living with him? We took a break. It's just a break. So this is me, being a sister's keeper. This is me trying to help you not to get used and dumped. So if you know what is good for you, stay away from my man. She insisting you two are not divorced. Because she's mad. She is mad. What is left for her is to go naked on the street and make a public display. That is what is wrong with her. Wait, on a more serious note, what happened? Like, what's going on? Bella, we are divorced. 
We are divorced. But she doesn't want to let go. All she does is she, she keeps appearing and disappearing, showing up at my doorstep, dropping all kinds of packages, contacting my family and my friends, going on my social media, stalking me and, and trying to contact every woman that she thinks I'm getting involved with. Hold on. How did you two get to the point of being divorced? That's my question. Oh man, it's all my fault. Yes, it's, it's all my fault. I mean, my friends warned me, my family warned me. Even I myself, I saw the signs. I saw that she was possessive, she was violent, but I ignored it. Love is blind, right? And then I invited the devil into my doorstep. I, practic I practically brought trouble upon myself. Hey, baby. Where are you coming from? Is that the welcome back I get after a long day at work? Long day at work? Wait, so Justin, are you trying to tell me that you're just coming back from work? But I texted you, right? Oh, you didn't check your phone? I told you specifically that I will be coming later than the usual. Well, later than usual, for someone who normally comes home by 5 p.m., should be 6 p.m. or later, 6.05. But what says the time? It's 8 o'clock. Past 8. Samantha, for crying out loud, there was traffic. Oh, please, to hell with your flimsy excuses. I know you're out there cheating. What? Cheating? Justin, you know me too well. You know I am not the one to be messed with. You know what I am capable of. I can ruin you. I can deal with you. I am not a fool, Justin. You know what? I don't have time to go into a war of words with you. I am too tired and too exhausted. I will not be party to this drama. Please excuse me. Where do you think you're going to? No, where the hell do you think you're going to? You better go back to where you're coming from because you're not entering this house. Samantha, this you is need, my house. You need to go back to where you're coming from. What is What, what exactly is wrong? You need to go back to where you're coming from since you want to stay out there and... Do whatever you want to do. So you need to go back to where you're coming from. Samantha. You need to go back. Samantha. Where are you coming from? You need to go back to where you're coming from. Samantha. Go back to where you're coming from. You cannot tell me where you're coming from. Samantha, why are you pushing me like go, this? Go, go back to where you're coming from. Samantha, open this door. Samantha. Samantha. I'm coming to your house. My house? Right now? I hope there's no problem. What do you think? Samantha has locked me outside. Again? Ugh. This is becoming too much. It's becoming unbearable. We are now, no problem. They come.
Samantha, we need to talk. Maybe we should start with where you spent the night. Every time I lock you out, it is always easy for you to get in your car, you drive out, and you head straight to one of your girlfriend's houses, right? Samantha, please, please, just put the knife away first. Please. Justin, is it that you take this knife from me and stab me, or I will stab you with it right now? Nobody's stabbing anybody. Please. I slept at George's house, and, and for the opt-in time, I, I don't have a girlfriend. And you expect me to believe that? Do you think I'm a fool? What else do you want me to say? I'm telling you, think I'm, a fool? I'm telling you the truth. You think I'm stupid, right? Justin, do you think I'm a fool? Wait, you have yeah, to believe, you believe that. I'm telling you the truth. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm telling you the truth. Stop, you, stop. Do you think... Stop now, please. Do you think I'm... I'm going to kill you. All right, I'll call you later. I'll see you later too. Justin, Justin, what you pecked me on my forehead thinking that my head wouldn't boot, right? <laughs> what are you talking about? Your head won't boot. What are you talking about? Wait, who are you on the phone with? In fact, where are you going to right now? Where are you going to go and meet right now? Samantha, I actually gave you a peck on your forehead because you were on a call and I did not want to interrupt. And besides, I'm having a meeting with a potential investor for my new project, the one I told you about. You think that I'm a fool, right? Come on, Samantha. What has being a fool got to do with this? You, what? You must really think that I am a fool for you to dish out this useless and silly excuse. I'm not giving you excuses. You asked me a question, Abby, and I'm giving you an answer. I'm not buying that. If you're not buying it, then you better sell it. Is that what you have to say to me, Justin? Is that all you really have to say to me? Samantha, you know what? You're beginning to become more unreasonable as the day goes. And it is becoming a hobby of yours. I don't have time for this. I have some. Justin! Justin! I know that you're going out there to cheat and it's not going to happen under my watch. I know that's what you're going to do, but it's not going to happen. Not under my watch. Please, I have work to do. Are you serious? Justin, you're not going anywhere. You would have to run me over. I'm not, I'm not, you're not going anywhere. Oh, you want to move. Run me over. Run me over. Run me over. What? 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 You're not going to anywhere. Samantha, get out of Justin, my way. you're not going to Samantha, anywhere. I said get out of my I'm way. Samantha, I will run you. I will kill you for nothing. You get, to, get out of you my way. You to kill your wife. Samantha, get out of my... You are because of women. Wow. Samantha. Wow. Samantha, what? get out of my way. So you want to go and cheat, right? I said get... Leave me. Get, get out of my... Get, you are not going to... Get out, of, get out of my way. Justin! <laughs> Samantha. 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 What time is it? You're still in bed by this time? 10 a.m.? When was the last time you made me breakfast in this house? When? Wait a minute. Justin. Are you mad? Are you asking me if I am mad? Oh, my bad. I shouldn't have asked if you are mad when I'm very sure that you are mad. Because it is only a madman like you who would wake up his wife in the morning simply because he is hungry. When that man in question has legs to walk into the kitchen and hands to fix himself breakfast. Your mates are out there making breakfast in bed for their wives. Well, idiots like you would rather do that for their side chicks, right? Please. If I heard you correctly, did you just call me an idiot? Justin, look at me. Take a very, very good look at me. A whole speck. And now you want to turn me into a house help? 
while you go out there and you squander your money on all these useless, dirty, hungry girls from zero backgrounds and no home training at all? <laughs> must be insane. <laughs> Caroline. Caroline, you better come talk to your friend. You better come talk to her because I have had it up to here. And I am about to exhaust my patience bundle. And when that happens, I don't trust what I would do. He's cheating on me. You caught him cheating. See, he is a chronic one. A chronic cheat. <laughs> you know you haven't answered her question. Right? You haven't answered it. If you are trying to make an excuse for your excessiveness and irrational behavior based on the fact that you think I am cheating, tell her how you found out that I was cheating. See, let me tell you something. You see Justin there? He is very, very smart. He manipulates me. He twists situations. You see him? He knows that he cheats. He knows very well that he cheats. But just because he knows how to play his game very well, it makes me look like I'm acting crazy, like I, like I don't know what I'm saying. Like, like I'm just losing it or something. Relax. I don't, I don't know. No, Carol, can you see this? I don't know. Can you see this? Can you hear your friend? This is what I have to put up with. This is the same person that I have to live with under the same roof every day. <laughs> Carol! So my only friend is loving this man. He regrets to love someone. Just because, just because I love someone. Is that why you say this to me? You think that is fair? Um, I think she's your wife and it's not that bad. You two can sort yourself out, okay? What am I doing? Uh, this okay, don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> you see, even your friend is tired of you. <laughs> you know what you have to say to me? Yes, you know that. Oh my god. There is this one. Hello? Are you this shameless? Like, have you no shame? What do you want from a young man? A married man at that? Don't you have any conscience, you old woman? I am his wife. Leave my husband alone, you old cargo. What the hell is wrong with... What? <clears throat> Hello, Madam Stella. Madam Stella, I can explain. Hello? What is your excuse this time? So you now deal with older women, Samantha, right? Samantha, what have you done? What have you done? <laughs> do, do you know who you were talking to? You were talking to Madam Stella. Madam Stella is the CEO of Red and Blue Company, the, the textile company, and she... she do, do you know what you did? You just spoke rudely to the major sponsor of my company's new project. <laughs> Red and blue. You don't like yellow and green, right? Right? That's what you're going around town and doing right now, right? Sometimes, take a pause and think. Think clearly before you talk. Think before you act. Justin, you're trying to change this whole thing right as usual. You're trying to change it, but let me tell you something. You're writing a letter to Trouble and very soon Trouble will respond to you. Let me tell you that. You're a mistake. You're a big mistake. Where do you think you're going to? You're going to go and meet her, right? You're going to go and meet her, right, Justin? We're supposed to be going to a party together. Justin! What the hell is wrong with you? Where do you think you're going to? We're supposed to be going to a party. What the hell is wrong with me? 
me? Is that what you're saying? You're such a cheat! You're not afraid of it all that we make! And you're such a mad person! I don't know what you're saying! I'm not afraid of you! I'm not afraid of you! I'm not afraid of you! This is a cheat! Oh! 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 Justin! Oh! Oh! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I made dinner. I'm sorry about what happened. I didn't mean for it to happen. I'm right. sorry. He didn't mean for that to happen. So when you pushed him down the stairs, what were you expecting? Hmm? That he was going to fall on some invisible machas or what? What if he had fallen down and hit his head and died? So you'd be proud of yourself, right? But that did not happen. Oh, really? So we should wait for that to happen so you'll be proud of yourself, right? I just hope you don't die before you realize what you're supposed to do. I'll be on my way. Just take care of yourself. Thank you, man. I better not fight again. My love, the man of my dreams. Look, I know I hurt you. But please, I want you to know that it was not my intention. And I promise you, it will never, ever happen again. So please, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Babe. Darling, I'm sorry. Babe. This is what you do now. You don't have your girlfriend's contacts saved on your phone so that I will not suspect, right? If you cannot stay faithful to me, then you just go to Guy, if you can't stay faithful to me, you're You mean your husband has not returned home since then? It's getting to one month now. Ha! Ah, this is serious, so. Have you been calling him? I have. But all his lines are not reachable. I even reached out to his friend and he was saying that he doesn't know his whereabouts, but I know that that one is lying. <laughs> oh, wow. If let me say if I go wrong, come out. Ah, uh, come on, babe. I was just angry. Just That's so. Angry. That's so. Before you go, use your anger issue. Yes. Finish me too. Justin. Justin. Um. 
I'm I'm not involved. I'll just take this. Could you can you wait at this? Samantha. You know I'm not here for a very long conversation, so I'll make this simple, plain, and short. These are police officers. And they are here to arrest you for attempted murder. And here in my hand, I am holding divorce papers. Now you will either sign the divorce papers and get out of my life, or you will be arrested and tried and imprisoned and still get out of my life. Whatever the outcome is, I am okay and fine with it. The choice is yours. Um, Justin, please can we just go to the corner and talk? Um, come, madam. Do you think we are here to play? I'm going to make your decision fast. Let's do what we are doing. The time goes, TikTok, Samantha. Make a decision fast. We need to leave. <sighs> okay, um... You know what? I was going to file for a divorce anyway, so... Pen? Yeah. That was a lot. That's not all of it. I thought it was over. I was celebrating. I felt like finally I can have peace. But it only lasted for a few months. And she showed up again. No. And she needs to be stopped. She has to be stopped. How? The question is how? How am I going to stop her? I have done everything that I know how to do and she still doesn't want to stop. I think you should make her believe you moved on. How am I going to do that? When she has threatened every woman she thinks I'm trying to get involved with. No, she's just trying to scare them away from you. She keeps coming back because she believes you're still single and available. What are you insinuating? If you can prove to her that you moved on, who clank and sinker that you're in love with someone else, there'll be no crack in the door for her. But that's where there's a problem. I am presently not involved with anyone. It's make believe. I can help you. You can? Why not? I'm my friend. This lady literally tried to kill you. There's no way I'll be here, I'll be happy when you die. So I'll help you. Well, there's no harm in trying, right? <laughs> you really got yourself into a lot of mess. Okay, so just check. Is it okay? What? Uh-uh. I have to look my good My friend, my friend. I have to look good for the camera. I mean, you look good already, so... I know it has to be perfect. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let me do it. Let me do it. Mm. All right, so on today's version of... Um, <clears throat> having a meal. Having a meal. With... With... My girlfriend. <laughs> so, uh, where do we start? The fruits, uh, yeah, watermelon. definitely the watermelon. Ooh. Seriously? Seriously, what? Babe, stop. Stop what? Open your mouth. <laughs> ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. You know. I, I will give it to you. I promise. 
Não. Promise. <laughs> you promise. Okay, okay, I promise I'll give you this one now. No. Let me look for a small one. No, I don't want a small one. I want a big one. Alright, there you go. <laughs> really? Mmm. <laughs> Alright, let's do then. I see what's here. First. Of course, I need to taste it. I know if there's something. Mm. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. Are you enjoying it? Of course, I have it. Mm. Okay. Mm. So let's give it to us. Yes, please. And then we'll cross our hands and drink it. Okay. <laughs> so, toast to. It's whatever. To love. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know what? I'll just end the video now. <laughs> Let's take a look. <clears throat> Can't give me. There you go. Oh, this looks good. This is very good. I'm just gonna edit this and um, add a romantic song. And this will be perfect. You know, if I wasn't part of this, I would have thought you were in love with me. Right? Shut up. See, see, see. see why you, how you are looking at me. How was I looking at you? You're in love with me. Oh. Just admit it, you're oh. in love with me. Is it by force to be in love with you? Is I it know by you. force? You're in love with me. What's even there to love about you? I don't understand. What's to love about me? Have you met me? Handsome? <laughs> Hardworking? God fearing? Good in mm. And mm. And mm. And mm. To be romantic was so hard for you. How do I get to fall in love with you? Hi guys, it's your girl Bella and today I'll be showing you my recipe of making fried rice and trust me It's not your regular recipe. Okay, so just stay with me and be patient mm. Babe, babe, I'm trying to make a video and I make the video even better Hey guys, <laughs> my name is Justin Justin with the J. And today I am going to show you guys how to kiss your woman. This is proof 
that Justin has always had other women. How else was he able to move on so quickly if that is not the case? How? <sighs> Whatever the case may be, he has moved on. And you should do yourself some good and move on too, okay? Samantha, listen. Shit happens, okay? Nobody wishes to get divorced, but it happens all the time. And when shit like this pulls you down, you bounce back and be better. And that is why I am bouncing back to get my man back. Don't you get it? Just get my man back. You don't get it. What I mean is, you bounce back, you move on, and you patiently wait for the right man for you. Kara, you don't have no right to tell me what to do. I am going to get my man back and I am going to do all it takes to get him back. All right. Fine. Do you. But please, whatever that will come out of this thing, don't get me involved. I will really appreciate if you don't get me involved. I've always known that you're a bad friend. Betray us everywhere. Hey, let's make a video, post to the gram. You know, just hashtag movie night with the bay. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Mm. Hey guys, it's a movie night with the bay. It's movie night with the bay. Yeah. <laughs> Myself and the bay. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with your bay? Yeah, that's a good question. What are you doing with your bay? We are babying. <laughs> Aren't we? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Come. You just let your freaky sabi. Me. I'm just trying to get rid of my pest. Really? <laughs> Really? Yes. <laughs> Look at your face as if you didn't like it. What? Uh -huh. Wait, I'll, I'll stop this whole thing now. You? I will just stop. Look at love all over your eyes. Just, God, you're, just, you're just radiating love. love. Me. See, no. Let me look at your face. Don't Through do love, that. See love, Don't see love. love. Come on here. Hmm. Because this time you're just doing, you're doing your face like this. See, it will look good. He took her to the same lounge he used to take me to. <laughs> you had better not be there by the time I get there. You had better not be there. I made your favorite. Why are you going dressed like that? Samantha. Hey, Jehovah Jireh. Uh, which kind of human being did I bring into my house? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 one day this girl, she fit, she fit me for sleep. Ah, uh -uh. no, she must pack out of this house. If she does not pack out, I will pack out for her. What is all this rubbish? Eh? No, 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 no. She will have to pack out. She must pack out of this house. 
she must pack out of this house or I pack out for her. Somebody must leave. Because no, no, I'm not going to. This video is everywhere. And guess who the bad person is? Me. Like, I, I'm being roasted for being excited to a married man. That's the problem with everyone lately. They just watch short clips online, they judge, they jump into conclusions, and they don't even know the full story. What? Look, Justin, I, I know this was my idea, but I was only trying to save you. Not to ruin my own name and image. I know. I think we should, we need to do something about it. Well, the question then is, what are we going to do? I'll make a video. A video? What video? I'll make a video. Uh, I'll explain everything in the video. I'll just, you know, explain. Are you sure you want people in your business? People are already in my business. Okay, I, I'm already divorced. There is nothing to protect. Okay, I'm just going to make a video and vindicate you. That's what I will do. Don't worry about it. Um, are you, are you going to mention that everything between us has been acting? Do you want me to? <sighs> Have you seen the video? Of course. I mean, everyone knows about them and how they are being dragged online right now. Mm -mm, not that one. The one Justin did. Justin did a video. Oh, you haven't seen it. <laughs> he has spewed it all. Everything that transpired during the marriage and after the marriage. Everything is out there. And guess who is being dragged online? You. I won't advise you to check online because the comments are brutal. Don't go online to check, please. Like somebody said something about uh, mental health. Somebody said, uh, I think she needs help. Another person said, eh, she's, supposed to, she's supposed to be in Yaba left. Yes, Yaba left. Then the other person said, she has coins, coin. This comment has a, somebody said something like, uh, uh, she needs mental help. And if you ask me, sincerely, I think they are all right. Samantha, Samantha. the door open. She even left the gate open. Bella! 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 You could have at least locked the gate.
Bella. 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 Can you hear me? Bella. Bella. this to you? What happened? <laughs> Samantha. Samantha? Samantha did this? Yes. She came in here with some boys that had guns on them. Guns? <laughs> they really rough handed me. I'm so sorry. Ah. Is he? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She says she has given me 12 hours to disappear when she returns and kills me. That's not gonna happen. Well, the good thing is I got her on tape. You made a video? Yes. I, I was trying to make sure it... Ah. Sorry, sorry. I didn't get a good shot anyway, but at least I was able to get her face and her voice. Okay, okay. Can, can I see it? Just take it ah. easy. Can I see it? Where's the phone? It fell off. Oh, great. Oh, good, good. Look, good, recorded. Good. This is all we need. This is all we need. Gosh. Are you okay? That lady is crazy. I know, I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Samantha. Samantha. You see? You see, I've been telling you about this. Now look at how you ended up. You could have just worked on being a better person after the divorce instead of chasing after a man. This officer, please, 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 please. Please, thank you. I guess all it takes is for you to end up in jail. I'm so sorry, but I just hope that you're going to come out of this someday, okay? How do you feel, though? You have no idea. I feel relieved. I felt the restraining order. That's good. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm fine. I deserve more than a hug, but I'll manage. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome.
my guy. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm sorry, guys. I hope I did not interrupt anything. Guy. What were you saying over the phone? Well, I'm saying I filed a restraining order, and Samantha will not be allowed to come near me or anyone that I love. You're not serious. I am serious. Man, this calls for celebration. You know what? We're going out, and I'm taking care of the bills. Oh, I'm down for it. All right, so let's this go. One didn't even I'm wait. down for it, please. Well, that's how it is Are now. Are we good now? Yeah, of course. Are you Come coming on, or not? You can take care of the house. Let's go. The house will definitely take care of it. <laughs> 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 Good morning, B. Someone made breakfast. Yeah, I did. I hope this tastes nice. Whoa, it tastes better than you expect. Oh, please. Please sit. I'll be the judge of that. Go ahead and dig in. This looks like a command. No, 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 no. There just wasn't enough space in the plates to write. Will you, you know, be my girlfriend? Okay. So say it with your mouth. Okay. <clears throat> Bella will be. Will you be my girlfriend? Yes. I'll be your girlfriend, Justin. You're such a breath of fresh air. And I longed for this for a very long time. You see, if you didn't travel, if you didn't jack back, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have made the mistake of getting married. Well, guess who's back to the dating market? Me. you. 